Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, so it's time for another lovely TTV shout out. So I wanna go ahead and shout out Julia Hair. They are responsible for this beautiful wig on my head. This is a 20 inch body wave unit. So if you guys wanna know more about Julia Hair, make sure you guys click the link. It will be pinned down below. It'll take you directly to their website and you guys can look for this same wig. I definitely love their hair. I love the quality. It's 100% virgin human hair. So make sure you guys check them out and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I wanna come on here and talk about all the Ray J and Kim Kardashian drama, huh? okay so what's going down is this last week Ray J aka messy Michael okay he's always messy and he's always in other folks business anyways the Sun Time this is a UK paper they basically claimed that they did an interview with Ray J where Ray J was going in on Kim Kardashian and telling all their sex business that was not featured in that damn tape okay so this is what the Sun Times is reporting go ahead and check this out so the Sun says Kim Kardashian's ex-boyfriend has laid bare the star's intimate secrets, claiming she spends $75,000 a year on G-string, stops for snacks in the middle of sex, and has a huge Louis Vuitton trunk filled with toys. The American singer, 37, also revealed how self-obsessed Kim would touch up her makeup before, during, and after sex sessions, take phone calls from her mom while doing the deed, and prefers to drink Cristal champagne. <laughs> So when that story went viral, of course, people started dragging Ray J. They were dragging Kim. I mean, the story was so crazy that Kim Kardashian had to speak on the situation, okay? One of her fans was calling out Ray J, and Kim Kardashian replied, go ahead and check this out. The fan says Ray J is constantly revealing all these intimate details about Kim Kardashian, shows that he's suffering from low self-esteem, hoping that Kanye ignores his ass. So Kim Kardashian replies back and she says, or shows he's a pathological liar. You actually believe this story? It's too funny to me. So now after getting drugged once again on social media, Ray J took to Instagram and he claimed that he had nothing to do with this. This was fake. People still didn't believe his ass because again, Ray J is messy as hell. So now this morning, he decided to make a video addressing the situation and Brandy also caught herself getting involved because again, anything that happens to her brother, she feels the need to jump on his defense and have his back. Y'all yeah, go ahead and check out this video of Ray J talking about the situation. Brandy jumping in as well. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Yo, this Ray J checking in. Felt like I needed to come online to shut down all of these false rumors that's going on about me and what I said about somebody I've been with in the past. Let me make this one thing clear. I'm in a great place in my life. I'm happy. I love my wife. I got a beautiful new baby girl. Her name is Melody Love Norwood. And I've been trying to be the best parent I can be. I would never say these things after watching my wife go through labor for 28 hours. All right, so you guys just heard what Ray J had to say, and this is what Brandy had to say as well. So one user goes, no one gives a fuck about what you're saying. Then Brandy comes on and she says, yes, you do care what he's saying. Otherwise, you wouldn't have watched it and commented. You should start listening even in your life, and the gag is. And then she has a bunch of question marks. All right, so y'all just heard me read that bullshit. First and foremost, I'm gonna need Brandy Norwood to learn how to read properly, okay? If you're gonna come for somebody, if you're gonna clap back, your clap back needs to be funny, it needs to be fierce. All that asking questions and throwing question marks at the end and saying the gag is, that's Kiki Palmer shit, okay? You need to find your own saying, you need to read them for the filth, and let it be some shit that's coming from Brandy Norwood, not Kiki Palmer, okay? So anyways, back to Ray J's ass. I'm not buying what he's saying in this video. You know, I think the only reason why he's apologizing and trying to come off as sincere is because it backfired in his face. I don't put nothing past Ray J. This is the same man who on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood started all this drama between Safari, A1, Lyrica. All of this mess started on that show because of Ray J. Time out. These two were separated for weeks. Weeks. Only thing I could wonder now is whose baby is this? A1s or Safari? Ray J loves mess. He loves his name to be trending. He gets off on this. 
I would not be surprised if he contacted the paper, told them all this, and now he's trying to play victim. Because either way, to a lot of these celebrities, any press is good press. It, it can be bad press, it can be negative. It's still good press to them because it means their name is still trending. And he, for whatever reason, likes his name being attached to Kim Kardashian because we all know she's blown up off of this sex tape. I mean, let's keep it real. This is the same man who years after the sex tape, after Kim was married and with Kanye and had a child, you know, he was dating around and doing his own thing, dropped a song called I Hit It First. Ray J takes shot at Kim Kardashian and Kanye West in a music video inspired by his famous ex. Now Ray J is adding fuel to the fire by releasing a music video starring a Kim K lookalike. If he's not pressed about Kim, why did he drop that song way back then? I don't put nothing past him, but I will say this. I would not be surprised if Princess Love was in the background with a damn knife or a gun. Like, you better get on your live stream and you better clear this shit up, okay? Because, again, he's married to Princess. They have their beautiful daughter, Melody. And at this point in time, it does look shady that he's constantly talking about Kim Kardashian or bringing her up. He's saying that he didn't have anything to do with this interview. I don't know if I believe him because like I said, his track record shows that he's messy and he's always involved in some straight up fuck shit, okay? She needs to know immediately what's about to go down because my childish ass husband couldn't keep his mouth shut. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Do you guys believe what Ray J's selling? Do you guys believe, you know, Ray J apologizing and saying that he had nothing to do with this? Or do you guys feel like, you know what, somewhere behind the scenes, Ray J might have fed this story or contacted them just so his name could trend, just so he could go viral on social media? Because like I said, all attention, good or bad, is attention for these celebrities. And then also, how do you guys feel about Brandy's clap back to that so-called troll who was going in on Ray J and telling Ray J that nobody gives a fuck what Ray J has to say. And then last but not least, do you guys agree with Kim Kardashian when she's saying that Ray J is a pathological liar? Do you feel like everything that was said in that Sun report was just over-exaggeration? Or do you see Kim Kardashian actually doing those type of things during sex, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.